Hey everyone, Professor Hank here. So today we're going to talk about type conversion in C++. And the big idea here is that when you have an operator whose operands are different data types, C++ is going to convert them automatically to be the same data type. So this can affect the results of your mathematical expressions. So for example, if we had an integer variable named cat, and then we had a double variable named dog. Let's say that you tried to multiply them together. So cat times dog. The question becomes, what is the data type of the result? So we can predict the result of this conversion by using a table that ranks the data types in C++. And you can see it on the screen and the data types are ranked from highest to lowest. So a long double outranks a double, which in turn outranks a float, which in turn outranks an unsigned long, long int, uh, et cetera, all the way down to an int. So when C++ is working with an operator, then it's going to want to have the operands be the same type. So it converts them. So this automatic conversion is known as type coercion. And when you have a value, that is converted to a higher data type, it's said to be promoted, right? So when we say that we are going to demote a value, that means that we're gonna convert it to a lower data type. Now let's take a look at the rules that govern this evaluation. So the first rule, rule one, characters, shorts, and unsigned shorts, they are automatically promoted to ints. So on the table we saw earlier, you'll notice that there wasn't a character or short or unsigned short on there because these data types get automatically promoted to ints whenever they are part of a mathematical expression. So if you had double C and then you had short D and then you tried to divide them, say, well, then that short D is going to be automatically treated as an int. So rule number two, when you have an operator that's working with values of two different data types, it's the lower ranking one that gets promoted to the type of the higher ranking one. So in an expression such as this, 5.5 divided by 12, then the 12 is an integer, and then that gets promoted up to being a double. The literal 5.5 is a double here. Another example would be if we have our cat and our dog, right? So the cat is an integer and the dog is the double, so the cat gets promoted to a double. And this occurs before the multiplication takes place. So the final rule is that when you have the final value of an expression get assigned to a variable. So let's say that we did int x equals 5.5 divided by 12. Now, the way this is gonna work is that the right-hand side of the assignment statement is going to be evaluated first. So this is gonna divide 5.5 by 12. And so the 12 will be promoted to a double because the 5.5 is a double. And so then a double divided by a double is a double, the result here will be a double, but then that double is going to be assigned to the X. And so when that happens, that value gets converted into an integer, right? Because X is integer. So what's gonna get stored in X is going to be an integer. So another way of looking at it is if we had something like this, 5.0 divided by two. Now the 5.0 is a double, Two is an integer, two is gonna get promoted to double, so it's gonna be a double divided by a double. 5.0 divided by 2.0 is gonna give you 2.5, but then that 2.5 is gonna be assigned to the integer variable x. The 2.5 is gonna be demoted from a double down to an integer, and when it does that, it loses its decimal places. So the value is gonna be demoted down to a two and then stored inside of x. Now, one last thing here, beware of, or be careful of integer division. So whenever you divide an integer by an integer, the answer will always be an integer. So an int divided by an integer, divided by an integer will always equal an integer. So let us say that we had a variable, an integer variable A, and that was initialized with five, and an integer variable B, which was initialized to two. So if we were to take a divided by B, it's an integer divided by an integer. So five divided by two is not 2.5. 
okay, because of integer division. The answer, the result here is two, not 2.5, because an integer divided by an integer is an integer. So the result of a divided by b is two. And so if we assign that to x, no problem because x is an integer variable. So that two is gonna be assigned to x. But if we had tried to assign it to say c, if we did c equals a divided by b, well, the a divided by b is going to be evaluating to two. And then that two gets promoted to a double because the c variable is data type double, promoted to 2.0, a double, and then gets stored in c. So let's see that data type ranking again. Again, ranked from highest to lowest, long double being the highest rank, int being the lowest rank. So let's look at those rules again. Rule one, character shorts and unsigned shorts are automatically promoted to ints. Rule two, the lower ranking value according to our table is going to be promoted to the type of the higher ranking value. And rule number three, when you have the final value of an expression assigned to a variable, it's gonna get converted to the data type of that variable before the assignment happens. Okay, so now you know the basics of type conversion in C++ and also about how integer division works. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.